MotoGP 20 and we're having a look at career mode. I'm on my Moto 2 career. I already completed the Moto 3 career and I've actually completed all of historic mode. I've got all the riders, all the bikes unlocked, so that's nailed. I'm on the Xbox One X, so I've got working through to the 1000G achievements that is. All right, we're going to go for a free practice because I'm doing the development tests. You need to get 10 of these for the achievement that is. I figured I'd try and max out this game because I love it so much. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We play loads of racing games here. I get sent most games early. In fact, I've been sent four copies of MotoGP 20. So yeah. Hey Moto Gamer. Hey the man. Shout out to the man. The man is our only godlike legendary member, as things stand. Okay, it's going to be wet. Wet. Development test. Actually, that's a point. I wonder if I can do track engineer. Aha, I wonder if I can load any of my setups. Oh, I can't load any of my setups. I'll tell you what then. I need to start deleting setups. Because these are all for... Every one of these setups was one that I did for historic mode. And now that I've completed that... Completed it, mate. Don't want to confuse things. Okay, so let's do a new setup for my career. So I'm going to take the suspension right down. Yay! He's getting the game tomorrow. Nice one, mate. Are you on Xbox or are you on PS4? Or are you PC even? This is my secret source setup I'm showing you guys here. Brakes are fine. Alright, let's save this setup. Alright. Development test. The quick lap one is the best because you only have to do two laps. Hey Dazza, I've just made a new setup for career mode. Alright, let's do this. Hey Kibby, how's it going mate? I'm back to the career mode now that I've finished the whole of historic challenge mode. So we're back with a Moto 2 career. This is the development test. I need to get a 153.4 lap. In the wet. Man, this is a piece of cake compared to challenge mode. Piece of cake.
Okay, I went wide there. I didn't want to break too much in the wet. One forty eight, smashed it, five seconds. You gotta do two laps on these development tests. But the cool thing about it is if you get one of the best times, you skip qualifying one. So it's worth doing anyway, because it means you haven't got to do the first qualifying round, so. Okay, maybe you'd only do one lap in qualifying, but. Until I've got these 10 tests out of the way. The other thing to remember is these development tests give you points. And the points you can spend on upgrading your bike. So it's kind of important. Hey BSB, I'll read your message after this lap. If I read messages when I'm lapping in the wet, I'm going to end up on the grass. On my ass. On your ass? There it is. Development test complete. Hang on, what's he saying? Hi mate, I've been up all night. It's 5.07 a.m. Here, hope you're okay and keep me safe. I just come to leave a like and I'll watch the stream tomorrow. But we'll be in your stream tomorrow night if you're streaming. Yep, I'll be on tomorrow night. Uh, tomorrow afternoon, mate. What level are you in Forza Horizon? God knows. That's a good question hundreds and something sleep well BSB hey Scotty how's it going all right so the other development test that you can do is this one but it's annoying because you have to stay as close as possible to the ideal racing line which is irritating so I don't do it this one a long run of consecutive laps you've got to do five laps it's just dull and it's unnecessary you get the same amount of points as you get for that one so that's the only one that I do and then I go to weekend management skip to next session this practice session is also coming to a close Let's because I got the fastest lap to get the best time this it's round. good I'll have to put Forza on and check out what level I am now. Whoa, I got smoked. Someone done a faster lap than me. Huh, not happy about that. We're back on the circuit for the second qualifying round. The first riders are about to get on the track and battle their way to get the best starting grid position. Okay. Qualifying two. Right, let's hope my setup works. His bike is ready and the rider is getting ready to sprint on the track. Let's see if he's the man says I do what I do race and What do you do? Race and quali sim runs. What do you mean, quali sim runs? I don't know what quali sim runs are, mate.
Oh, the development test. Same as what I've just done. Is that what you mean? The one where you do two laps under the time is what I did. I must say to anyone, if you want to play this game from the beginning and start in the Moto 3s, it's not really worth doing the development tests because it's easy anyway. And obviously you've got slower bikes so it takes flipping ages. That's all right. I just got my time in. That's the end of the second and last qualifying session, and we can finally see the grid positions that await us in tomorrow's Grand Prix. 144.3. Yes, I smashed it this time. I do 25% races with fuel and tire wear on. Oh, so I do the race pace test. To see how well it will hold up. Oh, I see. You're a professional. 25%. How many laps is it normally, mate? How many laps normally is 25%? We're now coming from the starting grid, where everything seems ready. It's always difficult to predict the results of a Moto2 race, but the riders we're seeing right now definitely seem to be the favourites. Everything here is ready to start the race. Six laps. Whoa. And we got hit. Four to seven. I'm doing six on this. I didn't have a setting to do any less either. Oh my god, I got taken out again. I literally had to bump wide then. Hey the man, do you get taken out by the AI at all?
Haha, <laughs> mostly hitting them. I'm really looking forward to getting to the Moto G, please. The front 20, 1.5 seconds. The front 20. It is pretty mad in these uh, career races, guys. You have got. You start with 32. Weirdly, in the, what do you call it? A challenge mode, I'm sure it's less, isn't it? I'm sure in challenge mode you start with 16. I might be wrong. Yeah, I'm sure it was, sure it was 16. One of my proudest achievements that is in recent times, completing the whole of uh, challenge mode. It now feels like it's definitely possible for me to get the 1000G on this. And I don't normally max these games out, I try, but there's normally a couple of achievements that I think, oh god, I'm not going for that. I mean, I like getting achievements, but I'm not, like, obsessed by them. I used to be. When Xbox first started, I was absolutely... I thought it was brilliant. I was absolutely obsessed with achievements. But then once I got to, like, 100,000, I was like, hang on a minute. My gamer score now is, like, 250,000, pretty much. but I play a lot more PS4 now as well. Ah, gone wide, come back, come back to the light. What's my favourite video game? Whew. 
Well, at the moment, it is obviously MotoGP 20. But if we're talking about all time, all time, see, all time is an interesting thing. It's hard to think about. But if you talk about what is the game you've put the most hours into, I remember when World of Warcraft released. I bought it on release day many years ago and I played it every day for a couple of years and then I thought oh shit I am addicted to this game and I literally stopped so I played it solid for like two years and then I stopped and I've never gone back to it because I know how dangerous it is so and then also like growing up I used to play the championship manager series so that was before the football manager games on PC and I would play championship manager to death I'd even play it all night sometimes play it till like 4 in the morning so that I would say my all time favourite game is championship manager which is now called football manager um, but racing games I like the Forza Motorsport series. My name on um, on PlayStation, my name is Forza Warrior, and it's Forza because of the Forza Motorsport series, and Warrior because of the Dynasty Warriors series. Well, the Samurai Warriors as well. So they're, they're my they're my secret pleasures. Samurai Warriors and Dynasty Warriors. I must admit in the last couple of years I haven't played them anywhere near as much as I used to. I'm much more, I, I, I've basically changed, I'm basically, I'm racing all the time now. I'm well into motorbike games which I never thought I would be. It's been a gradual thing with me. Oh, Gran Turismo as well. I forgot Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo 3 and Gran Turismo 4. I played them most. Played them to death. Still waiting for you to race me on the PS4. No, mate, I know. Hey, by the way, I must tell you this, guys. Nice win, by the way. Thank you. When you guys send me money, or like, whoa, what's this? Forty all for one. Reach the race objective twenty times. Yay! I'm happy with that. Um, when you guys send me money, or like the the YouTube money I get from ads, I kind of don't get it for like almost two months because it's like the end of the month goes, and if you haven't got sixty pounds in, you don't get anything. Like the minimum threshold is 60 pounds so I only get paid every time it hits 60 now obviously this month it will hit 60 because the man thank you sir was kind enough to donate $50 the other day but I won't get that for like what is like I don't know how, where are we in the month I won't get that until next month like a month's time yeah there you go but I will get it. This rider has been able to I will race you. I will race you on PS4. I'm actually planning on downloading it this week. It's a good job I love the game. Team objective. Right, this is good. Want my reputation to go up because I want to get in a really good team for next year.
All right, let's have a look at this. Actually, I'm going to look at the uh, achievements. Uh, here we go. I'm on 670 for this game. I need to win at Catalonia and Mategi. Right, where is it? Complete, oh no. Reach the qualified objective 20 times. Oh, I haven't done that yet. Complete 10 development tests. 10 development tests. Right, let's have a look here. New candidates. Refuse. Don't know why they keep doing that. Once you've got A+, plus, who cares? Ah. Okay. Contract search. I want these teams. I want the really good teams. It's not bad. I've got some offers here. Look. It's a fifth place team. I'm going to wait. I am going to wait. Let's look at the research. Hey Kent, you should make yourself a custom team. Yeah, I should. And a custom helmet. No, you're right, mate. Let's look at this stuff. Five weeks. Oh, three weeks before that's ready. What about the engine? I haven't got anything going on the engine. The study of the, 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 the package gives you smooth delivery. Oh, I don't know. What's this one? The installation of longer manifolds improves engine performance. All right, let's go for that. Ten weeks. Seven weeks. Oh. Uh. Oh. All right, let's crack on, let's crack on, let's crack on. Hey, MD. How's it going, mate? Oh, these proposals never end. I'm not even going to look. Proposal received. Good news. The manager of Red Bull, blah, 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 has accepted our counter proposal. Oh. So I've got an offer. I've actually got an offer for Red Bull KTM for next season. And they're going to offer me a bucket full of money. In that case, let's do a search for a, let's try and, let's try and play them off against another one. Who else wants fifth place? Let's go with this one. Contracts for next season. A K 
custom Iceman helmet. So I'm going to have to come on and have a look, mate. Dazza, you know too much. Hey, do you know what the weird thing is, guys, that I've noticed, right? I've really noticed a, an interesting trend that I actually get more viewers in the afternoon than I do in the evening. That's weird, isn't it? Where's MK? I'm going to message NK, MK. All right. Development test, quick lap. All right, one forty seven point one. Oi, 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 oi. Well, that's going to cost me. Hey, Bence is here. Hey, Bence. Did you get a notification, Bence, that I was on? I'm just wondering if... I'm just trying to make sure if people are getting the notifications or not. YouTube's been a bit weird recently. Hey, Spectre. Spectre says he got one. Were well, you 35 minutes late, Spectre? <laughs> you didn't get it quick enough. Only joking, buddy. Real life is more important than YouTube life. Well, to you guys, not to me. YouTube life. Oops, didn't get on the brakes quick enough there. You probably noticed my bike is pretty wild. I'm constantly in a wheelie position. It's because I've gone for max acceleration. This game is all about acceleration to win. There are a few tracks where you will 
need a higher top end because it's got a really long straight but I find acceleration is much more important He's having dinner. It's outrageous, Spectre. We're taking things inside the pit where the team is waiting for the rider to come back. I had chicken, rice, and peas this evening. session is also coming to a close let's see the yay i've got the fastest lap so that will mean that will put me that will skip to We're qualifying to two now qualifying round. The first riders are about to get on the... you skip pre-qualifying so qualifying one you don't have to do if you get a good time in third practice I was just checking they kept my set up. Oh my god, I was not paying attention. I thought it was still on autopilot. Let's go again. The lap doesn't start, obviously, until you go over the... Uh, I'm not cheating because the lap doesn't start till I go over the finish line, which is now. Now my lap starts. Oh, I did I know I got I thought I was gonna get pulled then for corn cutting so I went just inside all right that'll do let's see where that puts me that's the end of the second and last qualifying yay session, pole position finally see the grip positions that await us in tomorrow's Grand Prix to the Jerez de la Frontera circuit just a few more minutes before the Moto2 race at the Spanish Grand Prix finally begins as you can see it was a long weekend for the Moto2 riders but finally the showdown is here we're coming to you let's from the check grid. my There's setup I want to make sure the race begins. that everything's how I want it yes it is just a few moments to go 
Let's do this. Blimey. Am I, uh, I've got, I was like, oh shit. I was like a pinball then. I must admit, one of my criticisms of this game is, I mean, I've set my bike up for maximum acceleration, and I start in pole position, and they all go flying past me. And it does seem like part of the AI is for them to start fast. In basically every race, they always start fast. And it's up to you to get ahead. I suppose that's a lot of racing games do that. Anyway, I've got six laps to reel them back in. Oh, crap. There's no way out of that, is there? There's no way out of it. I'm gonna have to go inside him. What's happened to my brakes? Hey Curly, good evening. I didn't think you were going to make it, mate. What have you been up to, Curly? Much gone for too much. I'm struggling this race. Stay with it.
You can make me crash now. Mr. Sings. I can't believe that you're not you haven't got your own sheep and goat and you have goat's milk then I thought everyone in Wales had a sheep and a goat I don't eat, I don't uh, drink milk myself. Once I found out that you were allowed 2 million pus cells per litre in milk, it put me off. I decided to research it a bit. I thought that can't be true. You can't be allowed to have pus cells in milk. Turns out you are. Yep. So I'm on the soya milk now. unsweetened soya milk. I've been on it for like 10 years. Almond milk. I tried almond milk. I thought it would be good for me, but can't get on with it as much. Hey, do you know what the really funny thing, though? The really funny thing about soy milk and almond milk is they're like, they're like 90% or 85% water. I have actually had water on my cereal before, I thought I'd try it. It's, it's not that bad. If you've got like a granola, I like to mix a granola with cornflakes. I like to go one third raisin, raisin shreddies, like the, the, what's it, no, yeah. Shredded wheat with raisins, that's it. Raisin wheats. Let, let me get the words out. Raisin wheats, then a bit of granola, and then on top of that, cornflakes, then some blueberries and, and maybe some raspberries, and then half a sliced banana. And tiny pants will eat the other half. I could easily have that with just water. Sometimes I have a bit of Greek yogurt on it just to completely blow my non-dairy out of the water. I do like cereal. I'm already looking forward to my cereal tomorrow morning. Hey, yellowish. I think the only problem with granola is they tend to put too much sugar in it sometimes. Hidden sugars, honestly. They're trying to make us all fat. Fuck. 
final lap. Got a nice lead. Didn't look like I was going to get the lead after the first two laps. I think I was in fifth at the start of the second lap. stars of this exciting race are finishing their final lap let's take advantage of these moments to take a look at the moto 2 final ranking <laughs> dry wheat a bit i just saw that all right yay 100 points Ah, we're actually moving ahead in the team championship, my Red Bull team. Undoubtedly, it was a perfect day for him. In addition to the victory, his position also earned him 25 priceless championship points. 25 points. Two, 245,000 now, the reputation. The higher that goes up, the more chance you've got of getting a better team. 57,000 credits. All right, let's have a look at my development here. So it's the aerodynamics cannot be done, but the engine can. Weird, isn't it? I don't know why they keep giving me new candidates. Proposals received. Here we go. Okay, that's the one I've already got. So the Hurt Suzuki team. Five hundred thousand, thirty and thirty thousand. Right, they've got to beat this offer. So signing on, I want. They'll probably say they probably tell me where to go. I want six hundred thousand. And I want thirty five thousand per race, and then the end of the championship. I want now, why does it come up red? Ah, there's some sort of performance data. Five hundred thousand. Send. Let's negotiate here as well. For even more.
All right. Sell your soul to Red Bull. Well, I got this Red Bull one, but I don't want to. It's for two years, and they only want me to finish fifth. I want a team that's going to offer me a bit more. Whoa, A++. This bloke is A++. Plus plus. Plus plus. Nice. Oh, does that mean I lose my proposals? No, it doesn't. I want these teams, these ones, Repsol, Honda and Ducati and the Yamaha and they're not making me an offer. The ball bags. Oh no! A negative balance. <sighs> Why have I got a negative balance? I've lost my flipping dude now. Ah. I lost my dude. Ah. Bring quid up, PN. Bring quid up. Welcome, mate. Something like that. Like, like Brazil. I don't speak por Portuguese, though, mate. Faz uma carido com o Franco Morbidelli. Hmm. What does that mean? Hey, someone translate. Hey. <laughs> Dazza or Curly, someone someone translate what he's written. Make sure he's not mugging us off. <laughs> quick lap. Let's go for the quick lap. There he is heading out on track. All right, let's do this. Oh, I didn't know you spoke Portuguese, Dazza. There's no end to this man's talents. Oh, crap. I've gone flying off. Oh, 
Alright, we did enough. We got our 140. We only need a 142. Whoa! He actually asked you to do a race as Franco Morbidelli. Ah! Oh. Dazza, do you speak Portuguese? How many languages do you speak, mate? breaking early enough am I I've got to break a lot earlier oh Google pants Completed the development test. Let's crack on. Skip to qualifying. Yep, yeah, I had the best time. Here we are, back at the those bits when that guy's talking to me he's going oh, he, oh shit I can't do it they're just shaking their hands around he's going yeah this is how you hold the handlebars and the other bloke's going oh that's how you hold the handlebars I wonder what you meant to do and he goes yeah and what you do is you hold the handlebars and then you move them left and right depending on which way you gotta go oh okay mind boggling This is qualifying, by the way. I knew he'd get there just before me, so if I can cut him up. Well, that's all right, mate, Spectre. We're, we're simple people with simple sentences. Dos cerveza, por favor.
All right, that should be fast enough. That's the end of the second and last qualifying session, and we can finally see the grip positions that await us. Technically, you don't move the handlebars. It's all about body weight and counter steering. Well, ball bags to you, mate. Why were they doing a demonstration going like this? You do this. You do this. You do that. You need to do that. <laughs> I wonder what that bit was. That's, <laughs> that was a demonstration of him fucking it up on a massive speed wobble. <laughs> it was a long weekend for the Moto 2 riders, but finally the showdown is here. We're coming to you from the starting grid. There's just a few minutes to go before the race begins. <laughs> All right, come on, number 69. Le Mans. We've lost one rider already. We're down to 31. I'm absolute king of the wet. So I'm going to kick their ass. If it's wet, you'll often find me slipping in there first. Is there? I didn't see that option. How many fingers to break? I wish I had a P.O. box so you guys could send me gifts. <laughs> who, would, who would send me a gift? Come on. Right, guys, what would you send me if you were going to post me something? What would you send me? Come on. I dread to think what Curly would send me. A tin of tuna? If you sent me a tin of tuna, I would feed it to my cat. Or a kitten. I've got a four month old kitten, guys. Well, nearly four months. A tin of tuna, that'd be a rubbish present. Come on, Curly, what would you send me? 
tin of bloody tuna. Stinky tuna. A toilet roll? A toilet roll? Why is no one else getting in on this? Come on guys. What would you send me? What would you send me in the post? A toilet roll. <laughs> it's a, that's an expensive way to send a toilet roll. Would you squash it? I would post it back to you. Do you know what I would do? I would get your tin of tuna. I would I would get the toilet roll, right? I'd put it in a plastic bag and then I'd pour the tin of tuna into the plastic bag, seal it up and then post it back to you. Ha <laughs> ha. Stinky. God, it would be, be really humming by the time it got back to you. Oh, Spectre would send me a comic. This is good. I like a comic. What would it be? I would like... What would I like? When I was a kid, I used to read 2000 AD. I wonder if that even still exists. I remember reading 2000 AD. Someone gave me a load of them. And... Uh, I quite like the Walking Dead comics as well. Spectre wins anyway, that's a much better gift. Tuna and a toilet roll. Judge Deeds. Judge Deeds, Judge Dread. <laughs> Judge Deeds. I was thinking, who's Judge Deeds? Is he a modern one? Curly must be asleep because he'd be all over this. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Curly, that's not the question. The question is, if I had a P.O. box, what would you send me as a gift? It can't be money. Not that you'd send me money, you're Welsh. <laughs> mate, I've got so many toilet rolls. I told you my mate brought 64 toilet rolls from Aldi. <laughs> we haven't even started them yet. I did overstock on certain things. I was panic buying, um, I don't know what I was panic buying, but I've ended up with stuff that we wouldn't normally get. I thought, oh, I better get some soup, tins of soup, in case things go really mental. And then I was like, oh, I really don't like soup.
Hey Curly, why don't you look at the Facebook anymore? Did you guys know we're also streaming live on Facebook? I noticed that, no one looks at that anymore. Maybe it's not working. that up then. <laughs> a nice win. Park Ferme is starting to fill up with the stars of the race. Let's take a look at a graphic of the official results of the just finished Moto2 race. I told you I'm good in the wet. I absolutely smashed it. This victory is the cherry on top of an exhausting weekend. If his team keeps working like this, it will be... Right, the reputation, 268. Oh, I've got virtually no credits. This is terrible. I can't afford anyone. I can't afford anyone because I've got no money. Crazy. Aha. Four weeks. Check back next week. Curly, you never said what you're going to send me. Why isn't Curly joining in? Helmet. Aha, electronics. Ten weeks. Ten weeks. Who else can we add? Ten weeks. Frame. Let's add. Let's add a frame person to the electronics. Eight weeks. Seven weeks. Crazy. We ain't got that many weeks. What's the next one? All right. Magello, Catalonia. Hmm. Oh, my contract. Ha 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 ha. Negotiate. What? It's a deal. What does he mean it's a deal? If it's a deal, why can't I sign it? I'm confused. I think I need a I think I need a contract manager or whatever it is.
Magello. Let's do race only because I need I need to get the money. Maybe the Facebook's not working. I better check it out. Hi, motorcycle race fans tuning in. Today's Moto 2 race is being held in the hills of Tuscany, where the Italian Grand Prix is about to start. The rain has been falling relentlessly for a few hours now, but track conditions are good anyway, and the start of the race isn't at risk. All right. class starting grid where riders and engineers are talking over the last few details before the race whoa i need to load my setup man my setup oh oh they do need updating they're still on the <laughs> FBI is working, don't get notifications over it. Oh, FB, FBI. Cheers, Dazza. Not long to go now until the I do need to update those, Curly. Has anyone got any good ideas for some new members emojis? It is absolutely pissing it down. Somehow I held on then. They do do weather. I'm glad you like. I'm glad someone noticed that, Curly. I am king of the wet. I always win in the wet.
Hey, I've just thought of something. Do the riders have any uh, way of taking on any fluids? They must be really thirsty after the race. I suppose they just piss themselves if they need a pee. Is there, is there a downside to pissing in your levers? <laughs> oh dear. I don't know why I've started thinking about these things. Dazza knows all the answers. Oh, a camelback. Oh, okay. And what about if they need a pee? Well, there, and there we have it. Paula Radcliffe took a took a poop once, didn't she? On a marathon, she squatted down on a, on a marathon race and took a poop.
Yeah. Yeah, exactly, mate. You get away with it in the rain. This victory is the cherry on top of an exhausting weekend. If Two, eight, four. I need more money. It's really hard to get money in this game. If you think about it, I've got the VIP bonus, so I'm getting double money, and I've still only got 15,000. Stupid. I need a personal manager, but the signing bonus is 22,000. So I can't actually afford them. I basically need 30,000. I'm going to refuse them. See if I get offered anyone else. Hmm. Catalonia. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, eight, nine, eight. Fourteen. Oh my god, it's a long season, isn't it, guys? This guy wants twenty two. I can't I can't get anyone. Hmm. Alright. I need more money. I'm gonna go straight to the race again. Seeing as I've got 14 more races. Hello and welcome to the circuit. A few more minutes and the Moto2 race will begin. Right now, we are at the starting grid, waiting for the riders to receive the signal to start the warm-up lap. All right, I've loaded my setup. We're going straight into it. Just a few moments to go. We're starting from the back. Oh my God. Miles away. I was, I was, I was wincing. I was literally wincing then, waiting for this. This could be tricky. It's a good job I've got six laps. Buffalo girls go around the outside, around the outside. I 
Okay, I might have to put the difficulty up a bit. I'm smashing it. My setup is particularly good, I told you, with my acceleration. And now I'm used to the bike. I am in a permanent wheelie. I do spend half of the lap. Maybe not half the lap. But I reckon I spend 10% of the lap at least in a wheelie. Oh dear. He hit me and bounced off somewhere. I think I might make a video seeing how many riders I can knock off their bikes in six laps. Yeah, I think that would make a good video. Road rash. Not even trying to win, just trying to see how many you can knock off. It could be a weekly challenge on the channel. What I really need to do is I really need a video editor. I need someone to go through my live streams and get the highlights. How much do you reckon I'd have to pay someone to make highlights of my live streams? Maybe I can go on that site Fiverr and get someone from like China or India to edit my videos for me. You never know. Forty K and I'll do it. Forty K I can't even afford forty quid, mate. Yeah, you're out of the picture. You can run back into the ring and pick up the hat you just threw in there, mate. Forty <laughs> K.
Hey, Hugo Boss. Welcome, mate. China and India may hack your YouTube channel. That's a good point, mate. Fifth lap. Bit late breaking that one. Whew. Final lap. Yay! Whew. The stars of this exciting race are finishing their final lap. Let's take advantage of these moments to take a look. Crown victory, win a race at Catalonia. I'll take that.
hmm, I just realised I could win this season quite early. If I keep winning, haha, -ha, that's a good plan. This victory is the cherry on top of an exhausting weekend. If his team keeps working like this, it will be really difficult for his opponents to overtake him. Oh, 299,000 reputation. The money is low, though. That's the problem. The money is low. Just not getting the money. Let's see if I can hire a personal manager. Oh, my God. I haven't received any candidates. No. I'm not wasting my money on technical staff. All right, well, we're top of the standings after, what would that be? One, two, one them all, so seven. Seven down, 13 to go. We're going to have to do a bit of maths and work out what ones, I, what ones I'll end up skipping. Hmm. All right, guys, I'm going to take a break there. It's nearly 10 o'clock at night here in London, England. Getting a bit tired. Got an early start tomorrow. So, yeah, be good if you can check back again. If you haven't already, subscribe, hit the bell, and then you'll know when we're on next. And I'll see you for tomorrow's racing. Take it easy and stay safe. Stay safe, guys. See you next time, guys. Thank you.